Hello everyone! So in my last video I introduced y'all to my 91 CRX SI with the V16A swap. As y'all notice, she would not start up. She hasn't really ran right since I've done the swap, but she would at least start up an idle. She would just bog when you try to drive it and give it gas. A couple of you left a couple comments with suggestions on what to check, like fuel pressure and main relay. So today me and my boyfriend decided to get out here and see if we could get it running again. I'm gonna insert some footage of us working on it. But I did want to say that I will not be showing myself on camera today because I look like a hot mess. It's really blah outside and I didn't feel like dressing up to be on camera. Also, in this video my boyfriend will be doing most of the work. It's fuel related and I didn't want to get fuel in my hands because it doesn't really wash off and the smell of it gives me a massive headache. Plus he volunteered so I was like sure I'll just record. So just FYI. But let's go ahead and check out the footage of us working on it. Keep going. Nothing yet, just keep going. Huh. Hey, you might be out of gas. <laughs> oh, here, try it again. Yeah, I think you're out of gas, man. You wanna check it out? Well then. Let's go get some gas. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay. Get over here. Bella. Get out of the rain. Get out of the rain. Real quick. Yeah, probably a good idea. No, there it goes. We have fuel. Plus it has air bubbles anyway. Okay, it's getting kind of full now. Mm, ew, what is that? Ew, let me see inside. Ew. Bella, oh, she's over there. Oh, okay, I didn't see her. I didn't see you come back, chicken nugget. <laughs> It's a good girl. Mm. Okay, try this again. Oh, uh, maybe one more time. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's better. But at least I can almost see through it. Ew, what is that? Gross. Come on, injectors are gonna survive this. Yeah. So now we'll put the line back on and then run it until we get it to the return line. Okay, see if we can pop that on there. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, 
There it goes. Ew, it's brown. Ew. Ew. Yeah, keep going. One more time. All right. Oh my God, that is disgusting. Wow. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Oh my God. You can't even see through it at all. Brutal. Bella. Are you being bad again? better but it's still dark yeah one more yeah okay yep yeah, good wow it's a lot better though at least it's not like dark brown oh yeah that's looking more normal Place that crushed washer anyway since we took it off. Mm -hmm. That should be good. Alright, you want to try and start it? Sure. proper fuel pressure now but
so yeah the car was basically just out of gas and i feel dumb <laughs> but like the gas gauge showed like a quarter tank or more so i was like there's no way it's out of gas i thought it was just messed up because it's already been not running right and it still does bog so that issue isn't fixed because of that and because it's smoking a lot we're gonna go ahead and do a compression test just to roll that out make sure the motor is still healthy and has good compression so let's go ahead and do that and hope for the best there we go brand new brand new got the main relay out and got the car warmed up so now i just gotta pop off these spark plugs Let's uh, turn the jump box on. Uh, one second. <laughs> We're killing your little battery. them has any seeds just one of them See, that one doesn't go all the way around the... Yeah, it does that. <clears throat> okay. Put that back on there. Okay. All right, now we'll plug the main relay back in and we'll start it back up and make sure it works. great so the compression test is good they're all around 150 160 so i'm cool with that but the car does misfire so next i think i'm gonna get some new spark plugs because they didn't look great and these ngk wires 
I don't know what's up with them, but I have had a situation on a prelude where the wires caused it to misfire like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap them out as well. Just for peace of mind, I'd like to just go ahead and do the plugs and wires anyway. So hopefully that fixes the misfire and maybe helps with the bogging issue. So I'm gonna do that next, but I'm just glad that the compression test was good. So the motor should be good. One thing I did notice is on cylinder number one, the spark plug doesn't screw in very far. Like it goes a couple turns and then it stops and it's not going any further. Whereas the other ones, they screw down quite a ways before they're tight. So I don't know if that would contribute to the misfire in any way. Uh, it's probably not a good thing, but feel free to give me all's feedback. And I want to say thank you for the couple of people that did comment on my last video, giving me some pointers on what I can check to get it running. It did actually help because it was fuel related, even though it was just out of gas, it did make me like check the fuel pressure and um, pop off the lines and stuff to eventually find out that it was out of gas. So I just want to say thank you. I really do appreciate the feedback. In the comments so feel free to comment <laughs> if you have any suggestions on the misfire definitely do want to start with the plugs and wires at least i don't know when they were changed so it's something i want to do anyways i'm gonna go from there first and if that doesn't help then i'll have to see where i go from there i'm excited she runs again she starts right up i can move her around now so i'm happy with that but i just want to give you all an update and now y'all know she's alive again next update will be when I get the plugs and wires and we'll pop them on and see if that fixes the misfire issue and maybe even the bogging issue hopefully. So I'll keep y'all posted. We're gonna have nice weather this week so I should be able to get more stuff done and make some more videos for y'all. So stay tuned and I'll see y'all next time. Peace!